Our Mechatronic graduates are employed in many diverse Maryland industries. They were essential employees before there was ever such a thing. They get the job done. The machines of today are complex and sophisticated. Technicians now need to have experience with not just computers, but with electronics and mechanical parts. This is what makes up Mechatronics. At AACC, we've been doing this for 10 years. Our foundation has always been hands-on group projects. We do our best to make it fun and challenging, but we want it to resemble industry. Students learn elements of electronics, mechanics and robotics. They become a jack or jill of all trades. We want them to be able to use their hands as well as their heads. A typical mechatronic class before the pandemic was full of people wiring, building or fixing something. The COVID pandemic goes against everything that we are about, but local companies need our graduates. We wanted to tell you that we are still open and this is our plan for fall 2020. Students will have face-to-face -face access to mechatronic instructors online and be able to ask questions about all the stuff they may not understand. We're also using an interactive learning system with videos and graphics that explains everything involved in mechatronics. Every student is going to receive a kit of components for their respective course. A student taking electronics will receive a kit full of different electronic components to build with. In our mechanical systems course, we're going to provide all students with a 3D printer. Students will reverse engineer the printer as well as print their own mechanical parts to build mechanical systems. Students will use pneumatic and, and electrical circuit simulators which give a good understanding of how real world systems work. One example is Factory I.O. This program allows students to quickly build and test a virtual factory using a selection of common industrial parts. Here is a video showcasing a robot designed and built at home from one of our students. Students use the C programming language and an Arduino microcontroller to control the robot. The hands-on aspect is the most important part of our program and the virus is not going to change that. For more information, please email Peggy Walton at plwalton at aacc.edu or Tim Callanan at tmcallanan at aacc.edu. Thanks for watching and we hope to see you soon.